Yo, what's up guys? I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. So if you work in an office or anywhere for that matter and then one day you see a dog walking around, my guess is that the majority of you would get excited. I know I would. So this brings up the idea that maybe pets are good for the workplace. Now, at first the idea of having a pet at work sounds like it would be a big distraction, but in fact, a lot of big companies, including companies like Google, allow pets at work. Why is this? Well, there's a number of reasons, one being that pets lower stress levels. Now, it's been proven that animals affect the health of hospital patients by lowering blood pressure and helping out with depression. But did you know that they also tested this theory out in the office? That's right, in 2012, Virginia Commonwealth University did a study with 550 office workers some brought their dogs into work every day, while others didn't. By taking surveys and saliva samples, they discovered that the group that did not bring in their dogs to work had a significantly higher stress level at the end of the day than the group that did. The other thing, guys, is that pets cause people to interact with each other more, whether it's just talking about how cute they are with a fellow coworker or something more technical like what kind of breed your dog is. I mean, come on guys, you don't wanna be staring at a computer screen all day, emailing your coworker who's sitting right over there on the other side of the room. Which brings me to my next point. Pets also cause people to take breaks. Get out of the office and go take your dog for a walk. Feel the sunshine, smell the grass. Oh, and don't forget to pick it up. Other than that, pets are just plain cool to have chilling at your workplace. Who knows, you could have a new client come in who's a dog lover, and by seeing that pooch hanging in the lobby is one of the reasons why they keep working with you. So, do you guys bring in your pet to work? And when you do, does it lower your stress level? Let us know in the comments below. Check out these videos over here, subscribe up here, and until next time, I'll see you here in Mammals later.